Humanitarian Principles and Protection Key Messages for a Training Video Humanitarian principles are directly linked to protection. By applying humanitarian principles in our action, we reinforce the protection and safety of Palestine refugees and our personnel. Moreover, practicing humanitarian principles allows UNRWA to effectively advocate for the rights of its beneficiaries with various authorities and safeguard protective environment. 1. All of our buildings have to be clearly identifiable as UN buildings, which are protected under the 1946 Convention on the Privileges and Immunities of the UN. We identify our buildings by bearing the UN flag, so that it is clear to everyone that the building is secure from attack or trespass. This protection helps UNRWA to deliver its services in support of Palestine refugees safely and effectively. In some of UNRWA's areas of operation where there is protracted conflict, such as in Gaza and in Syria, marking UNRWA schools with the UN flag is critical as it helps us to ensure that Palestine refugee children can come to class and learn in a safe environment without fear of attack. Two. To protect the safety and security of our staff and beneficiaries, UNRWA buildings should be free of political symbols and violent markings. For example, drawings of weapons or political symbols on the outside walls of UNRWA's health installations will give the wrong impression to community members about the nature of the services provided inside. Violent images in particular can affect children's well-being. Drawings or markings may act as deterrents or barriers to individuals accessing services. We need to ensure that our buildings remain friendly and welcoming spaces so that everyone in need is able to attend. 3. To ensure our staff remain protected, we may ask them to wear visibility vests. This helps to make it clear that they are UNRWA personnel and humanitarian workers, and thus are protected from attack. The visible presence of UN personnel can also sometimes help to provide reassurance and protection to those in need. Four. To preserve our humanitarian space, we engage with the communities in which we work, but we do not associate ourselves with any particular faction or take sides. For example, UNRWA often invites community leaders to our events or ceremonies. During such events, we must make sure our installations and spaces are not seen to be supporting one faction over the other, as it could affect our ability to serve and advocate on behalf of Palestine refugees.